And I'd be happy to email this committee the results of the Midway survey. Oh, good. Yeah, that'd be good. Good. Then we need to advise the county council of the action plan. So we need to and encourage. If, and, and that's when we're going to, uh, that would be March 21st or 28th, hopefully the 28th. Well, this, now this is a little broader, right, than just the timeline. I'm thinking that we want to encourage each city to set up their own open lands board. And then we want to um, talk again about the, the meetings that will be held this year for public information. But we also need to help them see our procedures and the work with private donors, the work with these private organizations or, you know, government organizations, applications, grants, that kind of thing, those grant I, cycles. I don't think we can really do much with that until after we pass a bond. Well, that's true, but we can then get ready for that, that way summer. That way we've got something to work with. Okay. To have seed money to work with. Yeah. But if we could do the action, advise the council on an action plan in the March 28th meeting, then we need to set up, establish a plan to educate the voters on what we're doing, what we hope to accomplish. And then we need to start working with landowners to explain the program to them. And... Uh, Steve, I would put maybe a, a caveat to your E, establish a plan to educate voters. I think in that you're going to also want to really determine what the um, voters are going to be willing to tolerate in terms of the dollar amount. So that's going to mean another survey. Um, the one we did in, in Midway specifically asked, you know, if you're in favor, you know, wanting open mm -hmm. space, how much are you really willing to pay? Um, you know, there was a question about the um, income of that household. So from that survey, um, we determined it was about $40 per $100,000 value of your home that people would be willing to pay annually towards that as a tax. So that's that's got to become part of it because because you're going to have to, on the ballot, put how much you're asking for. What's so, the... Do you uh, see what I'm saying? Yeah, what's the uh, amount for a $5 million bond you said was so much yeah, per... We're, we're, we're about a 9 tenths percent taxation. So it's $9 per million dollars. But you said per 100,000 of value. Yes, per 100,000 of value. So, so, so just to give you a frame of reference. For five million? Uh, it's been nine dollars. Oh, per million. Per million. Okay, so got, it. House, got it. If your house is appraised at 300,000, then you'd be paying $27 for five million. A year? Yes. Well, then it yeah, so like it actually worked out in midway. We could have, we would pass probably a $10 million bond pretty easily. We have to make it really clear to the public just because we're getting that much money doesn't mean we spend that much money. Mm -hmm. That just means that's how much has been approved. It's sort of like having an account, a bank account that's been approved, and you're not a line of credit. anybody any, <laughs> it's a line of credit, thank you. It's a line of credit that's been approved, but you're not charging anybody until we decide, okay, this piece of land has come up, we need three million out of, from this line of credit. Three million, now we now taxes are increased X amount of dollars to for that three million. Do you see what I'm saying? Well, and, and that's, a, that's a really good way to, it's palatable to the voters. Right. But I thought that once the bond was issued, it would be all at once. And then it would I go to the we, Treasury uh, fund, I think we state treasurer. In, in, in segments. In segments. But will that help our private donors or will that help our matching leverage? That's and questions that other people to have can that answer. Much money. Is that a re reoccurring? As, as we get it paid off, does it stay $10 million? Do, mm -hmm. do we keep mm -hmm. for, we, oh, We'll always have $10 million. As we pay it off, we, we'll be able to fund more that. properties. Right, yeah. no, no, I don't think it is. I think we got $10 million. We only bond for three. We got seven reserve. We may have to go out for another bond issuing to go above that 10. You want because to that off. 10 will establish the interest rate 
Mm -hmm. There's not like a line of credit then. It's, right. it's, it's a, it's a, a, a set amount. amount of money Once we use it up and it's paid off, we have to do this yeah, again. Yep. Right there. Okay. Yeah. But the point yeah. being, you might have the three million one paid off before you draw again on your line of credit. Right. So that how much that's actually getting taxed but isn't that might just, be small. Isn't that just depend on how that ballot initiative is worded? I've I'm never sure heard of a bond being somewhat like a line of credit. I think we. No, she was talking about how we don't spend it all uh -huh. and well, we don't get it all, but you're, that you're is not there. So I should taxes. have said line of credit because it's not, it's not realistic draw, of draw. what we're doing. We I'm just saying just because we have it doesn't mean we spend it. More like a home equity instead of a line of credit. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. The yeah. point being, we don't. taxes aren't increased until you've actually used the money. It might take you three years to identify a piece of property. Okay, Nobody's but taxes have gone up yet. How long does it take to go to the bond market and issue it, Steve? Once something's identified. Probably uh, 120 days. Okay, so at least it's less than six months. Yeah. And so, well, that's if the bond market's still good. good. Right, but, because that interest but rate. But if the vary. interest rate goes right now, interest rates are low. If the interest rate goes sky high, we won't issue the bond. Yeah, see, that's the that's the other thing. That's kind of a waiting game that yeah. you may not. I mean, interest rates cannot stay low forever like this. This is mm -hmm. crazy the way they are. So I'm, you know, I'm almost willing to bond well, more just because interest rates are low right now. I voted for Trump. So I think he's going to keep them low. Oh, <laughs> well, you're not listening to him. Today. <laughs> Well, who knows? But just, after we educate, anyway, that bond attorney was terrific in answering those questions. That you guys yeah, Randy, we worked with Randy a lot. Mm -hmm. so he was great. He's good. As, as we established a plan to educate the voters on the benefit of the land preservation. Then we create a, a group to work with the landowners. And these can be, be done this, at the same time, just different groups. <coughs> work with the landowners to demonstrate the advantage of land preservation. And that's where we could bring in a tax consultant mm -hmm. and different things. And that might be the time when we have an open space person in the county who's responsible for part of that work. That's what yeah. you were I would to. I would think that we probably will not hire somebody full time. This this board will function as that until such time as we've got some easements we have to make sure we reinforce and okay. enforce and, okay. and get some money coming in. Yeah, we'll get the fee and loot coming in. That would, that would be nice. So we could encourage not only the cities to set up their open lands board, but encourage them to change their zoning or add to their zoning the conservation fee and lieu for annexation, like you were suggesting, as well as higher density mm -hmm. or something. I, uh, okay. Now, we went back and took away all the bonus densities mm -hmm. that we've had. Um, I don't know how the counts would, would look at maybe giving a portion of that back for a fee? Yes, that's a great idea. That's a great idea. There's lots of things like that I'd like to do. I just haven't been able to make headway. Uh, yeah, it's hard to do it when the council's giving density like candy. Mm -hmm. Then you really have no leverage to get any kind of fee in lieu if they're going to get the density anyway. Yeah, we've certainly done that. So. And it's almost, it, it, it doesn't it feel a little bit counterproductive with trying to save open space and we're encouraging higher density? So, I mean, well, maybe there, we've taken away our density. There's, there's, there's take areas in the county where density doesn't have much effect on us, but the Jordan Hill Basin, um, hotels as opposed to condos and things like that, we don't see them people. They don't have, a, they don't have an impact on us. Until they start driving on our roads and stuff. Well, most of them go to Park City. Mm -hmm. Some county has an impact. <laughs> what do they? Mm -hmm. I mean, it impacts some county always ends up impacting Wasatch yeah. County. <laughs> but we've got to remember that 45% of our tax base is coming from that area. Mm -hmm. One of the
from the Jordan L. Basin? Yes. I was higher than that. Was it only 45 percent? Well, well, the last one I kind of counted mm -hmm. was. But one of them 12 million dollar homes is treated as a secondary. Pays Double as taxes. much in taxes as some of our entire subdivisions. Yes. Well, maybe that's where subjects come up about, like protecting the road corridors and some of those other issues that, that we can't control and can maybe impact it, but there are some things we can do to at least keep that space. I mean, what comes up most in conversation, Steve, um, that I've had with folks as we've been getting going in, in Midway, it's, it's always mentioned, is the drive coming in the valley on Highway 4. And as a starting point to make a point with a group of people, that's pretty simple. Everybody can understand it, and that, to your point, it pushes aside some of what's going on down by Walmart and some of the issues that you're dealing with with the developers that are wanting to do stuff on the 20 acres in Midway. But you, you've got to have a picture, I think, that people can get their arms around and can relate to. Uh, if you don't have that, then it, it, it kind of falls apart by um, just the number of questions that come up about answering all of the questions. Well, so as far as I'm concerned, I, I would hope that we'll be able to pick three or four of those areas that speak to that issue of using these tools in the toolbox to preserve that open space. And there's collateral issues to that, but that's that's the main focus if we had to say what is it you want to get done with 10 million bucks plus whatever you can leverage to be able to answer that as clearly as possible tells a lot of people who are curious they've moved in they don't know you know I was gone when all this work was done so it's it's all it's all new to me in terms of what what you folks did in, when I was gone but the the ability to say it's this this and this and we don't have all the answers, and there's financing issues, and there's neighborhood issues, but we are prescribing this series of measures to protect that view shed, or to protect Center Creek, or to do something down in another part, and have those kind of as the pretty pictures that people can relate to. If we can't do that, then I think we're going to really face an uphill ramp, because uh, it's, it's easy to get into the details and, and forget that you really have to have those, I think, yeah. the ability to say that just straight up to anybody who asks you. We want to do this, this, and this, and this is how it's going to happen. Has there been development approved there at River Road on the intersection on that south, you know, west side of the there intersection? There has, but he went bankrupt. Uh, I know. Wouldn't it be great to save that corner right that, there? I mean, I've been so scared that that. There, there already is density yeah. allotted there that's been allotted there for 15 that was, years. That was allotted there before the change of government. Oh, wow. But they had issues too, right? They had egress issues, they had they water got, issues. They got a lot of water, they got a lot of, lot of, lot of issues. So and it wasn't a slam dunk. Uh, now, but, so there's even a piece of land. Is the bank on it now? Did somebody buy it? Hard money lender has it. Yeah. So is that someone who would be willing to cut his losses and get tax credit? Get tax credit, and we could pick that up for not too much money. See, wouldn't that be a feather in our cap coming out of the shoot? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe you could work on it, Tracy. But That's a possibility, but I think that. The price is so high, it's got entitlements now. And What's the, the name of the guy that went bankrupt? I knew that. I, I knew the guy too. There's a way to legally downzone, Steve. West Valley has done it. Um, North Village. Like an LLC or something? North Village uh, Partners. There's North actually Bay that corner has about four different owners in there. North if you Bay look at it, it's not, it's not just one. somebody doesn't own that whole corner. There's about, there's like three commercial pads that is separately owned. So I think they sold off pieces of it and there's like a few different people in it that had it mm -hmm. before. 
So on the county records, it's showing a few different owners up there. So, mm -hmm. or that were the owners up there. But. Maybe we need to uh, have someone come in that can explain down zoning to us and what's that legal process to go through because I think mm -hmm. that's a tool we need to seriously look at, in, at least in our city. Down zoning just in changing your zoning ordinances? Mm -hmm. Completely legal, completely doable. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. It's just nobody has ever said that word seriously in this valley for quite some time, and or ever maybe. And, uh, There's got to be some nexus there in that you're not taking well, what all the value, no, you your reason, the value. your reason, you're leaving mm -hmm. a reasonable return. So but that's uh, that's where the problem is determining what's reasonable. Uh -huh. Well, it's actually there is actually a percentage, so it's and it's like. If, if you're not taking something like 80% and corporate, I could get that answer for you. There's a very clear state law. A takings, you have to be taking something like 80% of the value away. What people consistently misunderstand is that when you down zone something, you actually make it more valuable. Mm. So I understand the concept of putting in 100 things gives you X amount of dollars per 100 things. But if you have 50 things on beautiful land, and there, there's not very many places where you can get beautiful land, then those 50 things are actually more valuable, or as valuable 100. as 100. Mm -hmm. So there's some, some misnomers out there that need to be corrected. Mm -hmm. But anyway, well, I think, are we there, Steve? We're getting close. <laughs> Sorry, I, I keep talking. Uh, the last time we, we got to find a we got to create a committee to work with the landowners and demonstrate the advantages of these programs. I think that's something that we'll be able to get organized this summer as we you know get these first things done. I think if we if we get the bond on the the ballot. It would be a whole lot easier to get the landowners to work with us because if they know there's money available. Yeah, I was going to say, you probably don't even have to think about that one until about this time next year because the bond needs to pass, all of that. Otherwise, it's kind of pointless. It's owned by flagship enterprises. Yeah, see, that's the old one. That's not the name I Was at Resort. See, yeah. each one of those pads are different. Or. What is the guy's name yeah. start with a B? Right. <clears throat> no, that's the guy that's the new no. owner at. No, wasn't it? time to put together a PowerPoint. Tracy, do you want to start doing this PowerPoint presentation? Do you want me to start working on it with these kinds of general ideas and outlines and then we can really Why, dive into it? Next time I think we need to set up the subcommittees and get working on that, right? Whenever, hopefully everybody's here. Yeah, that's fine. And take those saying. assignments. Um, oh, that's fine. No, I, oh, I, I'm not. I just, Maybe Ryan, can we get him to be good working on a video or whatever? Yeah, Ryan's the guy. Ryan's yeah, true. It's probably his value a on, good the, man with that. on this board. Yeah, you can yeah. get down to work with him. Yeah. Okay. I, I do not have to go because I leave early in the morning. Um, okay. So you'll be sending out I will. some more information and then a draft of the meeting dates mm -hmm. in ready, getting ready for next Thursday. Yes. Okay, and then I'll call in. So maybe before then, Steve, I'll give you a call to make sure I got the right number and, yes. and all that business. Did you get a copy of that to Cortland? Yes, that I did. Okay. Uh -huh. I think the yep. Open Space Committee would be interested in this. Can I have my um, survey back? Did you have one or two of those, by the way? That's no, right. that one. That's hers. You can have that one. Oh, got it. Okay. Give the Howard one? <laughs> That's how she can keep track of that. It's right. Okay. Does everybody get the 
the, the large file. The 04? Yes. City? Yeah, that came in your email. Uh -huh. You got it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Could you open it? Uh huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, I was impressed. Did you get that too, Heidi? I don't think so. I only had the PowerPoint and the, this draft. How did I send you this one? I think I only got the two also. Well, then it might have been too big. I had the same email as you. Hmm? It was county email. Yeah, if he got it, it's not too big. Right. Well, I'll go look and I, I'll, I'll just double check. And if not, I'll show you back. Yeah, I know, I, know I, I printed off everything I had, which was two. Yeah, well, this one is about 67 pages. Oh. No. Was that from before? Is this is something Yeah, do you want it? If you don't, no, you I got it. it. Okay. I got it. Yeah, I just didn't print it. This is the one that... Uh, I like emails better, but I like to emails on that one. meeting with my friend. Sumner Swanner and Christy, I'm going to get her last name. Remember, they was open space people. Where are you finding them? And they, they were... Where are you going to have that? Uh, they were... It's this. not cold enough here for you. you got to go somewhere else. Well, that's, that's my curse, is... Uh, <laughs> My, my winter trips tend to be to help my mom out in Minnesota, so I'm the only person in North America who purposely flies there. <laughs> it's been 10 right. days. Yeah. Uh, and try and get in a little outdoor recreation. You can't talk her thing. into moving out here, huh? No, no, we're past that. Yeah, we're past that. So I was hoping that I'd have the once in the life experience of being there with the Vikings in the Super Bowl. Oh, oh sorry, oh. man. Uh, but that didn't happen either. No. Oh, you can still go route New, New England on. Well, that's true, but it's it's a step. If you have nothing you know, better to do, basically. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just watch the commercials. Yeah. Well, thank you. I apologize for taking up all your time, but uh, I think it's been productive. Awesome. Nice to see yep. you. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to see you all. Okay. Bye. 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 Nice Great. Have a safe trip. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Sorry, you got to run. Hey, we good? I think we're good. We do.